Well, a department store may have gone a wee bit <laughs> too far, as Billy Connolly would say, in its latest ad campaign. UK company Harvey Nichols, which is a bit like DJs, I suppose, is promoting its latest sale with flyers featuring models who wet themselves. Now, the ads have the tagline, try to contain your excitement. The store says it was trying to come up with a light-hearted approach. So, mm. did it miss the mark or did it hit it? Let's see what advertising expert Matthew Bywater from Full Promote thinks. Good morning to you. Do you like them? Oh, I don't. Um, I, I question this, this ad. Good tactics, bad strategy. In fact, I don't see a strategy here. The tactics very obvious get attention, yep. which is sort of rule number one in advertising, grab attention. It's certainly, as crass as it is, actually does do that. Mm. But does it engage as a build a relationship with an audience? If your audience is wet, you have uh, pants wetting people, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't really get it. Yeah. Um, this is a high end brand and they're going rather low end on this. And the third thing is, does it does have a call to action. Is it going to get people to actually come through the stores? And I don't see a call to action here at all. Okay, let's look at it. was in trouble a little while ago with uh, another controversial ad. Take a look at this. Benetton have been making uh, 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 ads like this for years, haven't yeah. they, to differentiate? They slightly got away with this ad as far as the regulatory bodies go, and that's because they couldn't draw a direct line between the casual sort of uh, nighttime affairs of some people or just somebody having a, a really, really late night. <laughs> so it was kind of borderline as far as rules and regulations go. Um, but certainly, it's not, it's not crass like the one we saw before, which yeah. I think is a, a big difference. All right, another strange one, the Cadbury ad featuring a gorilla playing the drums. Uh, it had no chocolate in it. We'll play a little bit, we'll have a look. Tell me what you think while we're watching it. Um, did this work for you? Did you think it was successful or effective? This ad was absolutely effective. And going back to what I said before, the last ad lacked strategy, this one had strategy. Cadbury bought this ad out with a change of agencies, I might add, because they were struggling. They, they cut a lot of jobs in the US, they were moving jobs to Poland, so they were outsourcing jobs. Yep. They had some salmonella issues, they had some nuts in Easter egg issues about claiming nuts on, on the label. They had all sorts of public relations issues. And what they decided to do is rather than be defensive about all that, is just change the story. Come yep. out with something entertaining, something fun. This, this ad was huge. It, it millions and millions of hits yep. on YouTube and, and flows on today. And there's a lot of parodies. There's a lot of people taking off that ad, which just ah. further accentuates it. You know, it's, it's a good yeah. ad when you get parodies. Yeah. yeah. And the other one was the yeah, that was, great that was road safety one. Yeah. Matthew, good to see Thanks. you, mate. Thank Thanks. you for Thanks that. Thank you.